So I would love for this next segment to be called It's Not About the Chintz, because Mario Bawada deserves to be known for so much more than the textile pattern his name has become synonymous with. For over 50 years, he spearheaded an internationally renowned design firm, and along the way, his undecorated look has become the stuff of not only design history, but woven into the fabric of our culture. But Mario does know a thing or two about textiles, so Quintessence and I had the privilege of joining him on a shopping trip at the D&D building. Yes. So, what so are let's we doing? put our stuff down. We are, I'm going to, oh, yeah. uh, when we grab that, I'm, I'm scared, like what, what's in You're going to look at it. It's my book. Oh, it is? The first yeah. draft? Well, it's the first 20 pages, yeah. I want to look. Yeah. So we want to look at some fabrics that you love and talk about your love for yeah. textiles. You're not just about chintz. No, you, I love that right there. That's one of my favorite Show fabrics. me what? The silk dots, which are, it's coming up. So, yeah, I've used this one. See, I and would I'm never think using, of you as using dots. Oh, oh yeah, I'm very dotty, very dotty guy. Uh, these are, they're wonderful they're for right. cushions, they're side right. chairs. Yep. You, know, you wouldn't right. want to put it on a sofa. On a whole sofa, but just as an accent. Yeah. yeah. In 19, um, 50, 1960, I worked at Altman's 59 to 61, and they had a fabric department, mm -hmm. and there was a bolt of this chin, 17 yards, a dollar a yard, and I bought it. I still have it. It turns out to be Colfax and Fowler, and John Fowler, this is one of his favorites. It's in his book, actually, The End Papers. Yes. I did a room uh, with this, the entire room, walls, bedspread, bed, curtains, everything, but it was a tiny room. It was. It was in the apartment that uh, Sister Parrish had. And I love the idea. I think a lot of people are afraid of this, but I think it always works. Oh. Doing all, doing a whole, a small room, all in one fabric. What do you say about that? Oh, I From, think it's a very good idea. It makes the room look bigger. You and can, people think, oh, but if I do a big pattern, the room will look smaller, but that's not true. No, small no. room, go for it, correct? Yep. Good and question. what is it about this pattern that you, that drew you I in the first of the I just when I saw it. I mean, I hadn't seen it before, and I just looked at it. I thought, oh, that's so pretty, a dollar a yard. I'm going to return it here. Maybe they'll give me more money for it. <laughs> make a profit. This one is very popular. This one? Yeah. Mr. Fowler, John Fowler loved that. He had that in his house, a uh, chair. The next one is very famous. Pans this one? Roses and pansies. Roses yeah. and pansies. I've always used it in this color. The colors are so pretty. In fact, I'm doing an apartment now with this. You, you can never have enough leopard as, I, as far as I'm concerned. Well, I, always, I love a touch of leopard, and that's fun because it comes, the green's very pretty, mm -hmm. the blue's very pretty. And that goes with everything, right? This goes with any of these things. Yeah, now, have you really mixed good. that with a chintz? Yes, of course, uh, right? Yes, Don't I be have, afraid. Yeah. In fact, a, a room that I'm doing now has the blue. Love chair. it in the blue. Yeah. And I want to talk great. about uh, a little bit of stripes. Can sure. we go over here mm -hmm. and look at some stripes? How often do you use those? Well, um, when I'm at Rikers Island, I use them. I feel like I'm this psychiatrist. How often do you use the stripes, Mario? I think well, it's a great addition to any room, and it sort of gets an eye cleaner. Certainly on the walls. Certainly curtains. I'll show you one that I just did this. Oh, yeah. A little girl's room in Texas. Oh, Houston. I love this. And that was so pretty. We put white fringe on it and did pretty scalloped uh, valances, and uh, it's really pretty. What I love about stripes is that there's a modern feeling to them, mm -hmm. but of course they're so traditional depending on how you trick it up. If That's you use true. a fringe or you make it just clean. How open are you to the new, new patterns? I mean, do you find that you're just gravitating towards your no, favorites over no, and over, or I'm you'll come in a showroom and just sort of... Always looking for new things. But the old chintzes you can't beat. You can't. It's no. so true. And I mean, you go to a room, you can just have a one chintz chair and two pillows, and that would be enough. Look but at I mean, that. Look at this. Put, it's great. You could see a room in that. You could see using a lot of it in a big room, high ceilings. It's great. But I guess this would scare... Believe me, I love black and white, but what... What else could be brought into this as far as another pattern? This seems to me so dominant. You couldn't really do a stripe with this. You Would this just stand you on its do own? A big wide stripe. You'd have to do a really wide one. Yeah. That would match the scale of this. Otherwise, yep. it would look ditzy. So you need to think about yeah. scale of one pattern versus scale of the other. Very important. I mean, the way I do a room and people, clients don't understand is I do it the way a painter paints a canvas. I do a dab at a time and eventually the whole picture comes it together. It evolves. It has a, a life to it yeah, because it it's, it, it's, it's, it's been evolving over time. Yeah, but if that's the way an artist paints a picture. He doesn't paint it all in one day.
So Mario, yes. you know I didn't want to even say the word Prince of Chins because uh -huh. you are the king of effortless chic. Okay, well, thank you. and so yes. that's your new catchphrase, don't and don't let can... anyone call you otherwise. Well, I hope not, unless I can find my queen. <laughs> we have a lot I of ladies tell, in waiting. I used to tell Mrs. Parrish that she was the princess of chits. So if she'd marry me, she'd be princess. Well, you are the great. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Here are our samples. Oh, thank you. That's great. Thanks for caring. That's great. Anything for you.